people ask me, what does colloidal gold do? Well, the reason there's not a lot of information on the, about this online, that's why as an alternative medicine doctor, I can tell you what it does. Uh, my hypothesis is basically that the gold is detoxing excess copper in your body. So most people, you need some copper, it's a nutrient, but most people get too much copper. Uh, usually they have too high of a level of copper because uh, their thyroid doesn't work correctly, usually they're iodine deficient, uh, and your body uses copper, but your body doesn't want too much of this copper conductivity, so it keeps it very tightly in control by having zinc in your body. And there is a zinc to copper ratio of between 8 to 1 and 12 to 1, where you have about 8 to 12 times more zinc than copper. So your body uses this copper conductivity, but it keeps it very tightly controlled. It doesn't want too much of it. But in some certain situations, if you're zinc deficient or if you're iodine deficient, you can get too much copper, too much of this copper conductivity. It's not really good for your brain. Your brain prefers this gold 6S conductivity. And so as soon as you get some gold, it appears to go right to the nervous system, flush out excess copper, and make sure your ner nervous system works optimally. And it's anti-inflammatory in the nerves. Uh, and so what, what colloidal gold does is it's good for anxiety, mood, depression, rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory arthritis, and other stuff. And, uh, and the and other stuff, um, uh, people are using, the main thing people are using this for is for meditation. You take the gold and it seems to tune you in and enhances any kind of healing or spiritual energy you're doing. Uh, as well as because the pathway of what it does is uh, detox is copper, uh, some diseases that are related to high copper, such as Parkinson's disease, and uh, are, are probably positively affected with this, as well as people are using colloidal gold for certain types of cancer.